Would you like to legally light up in Cook County? That's the question Cook County voters will be asked when they go to the polls next week. Medical marijuana is already legal. Dorothy Tucker reports on the impact on our roads if pot goes recreational in this original report. Were you smoking in the car? Yeah. A roadside stop in Carroll Stream. A driver rear ends an Orland Park police car. He's charged with driving under the influence of pot. And in Riverside, are you seeing more pot DUIs today? Yes. It exploded after the medical marijuana was approved. Of the 113 DUI arrests in 2017, 20% were drugged driving. Almost half of those involved marijuana. If we make recreational cannabis in Illinois legal, you're going to see that 20%, in my opinion, jump 30, 35%. It happened in Washington state. After years of medical marijuana, the state approved weed for recreational use in 2012. That year, the percentage of drivers involved in fatal crashes who had recently smoked pot was 57%. By 2014, the year recreational sales began, the number jumped to 84%. Legislators need to understand that with that increased accessibility is going to become increased usage and, and you're going to see increased uh, impairment behind the wheels. At the National Advanced Driving Simulator in Iowa, researchers are testing how people drive when they're high. What we see here is a driver drifting off the, off the roadway to the right as they're trying to corner. And the more pot they consumed, the worse they drove, according to their test. But unlike alcohol, where anything over 0.08 is considered intoxicated, there's no magic number for pot yet. Five nanograms might be um, an okay level in, in a certain group of individuals, and it might be a very dangerous level in terms of driving impairment in another group. Have you ever driven when you would smoke? I have. Michael Mays is a medical marijuana patient and owns a dispensary, but says he would never drive impaired and neither should anyone else. They could have, uh, you know, lack of motor functions. They could have mental blocks of sorts. Michigan State Police just began testing a roadside device that measures recent use of marijuana in saliva. So over your mouth, Trooper Tim Jean took a sample to show me how it works. Okay. A few minutes later, everything's negative. He says this device, used along with roadside sobriety tests, could make a difference. The more officers that have it, the more impaired drivers we can get off the road. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. The test on the roadside device in Michigan lasts until November. Proponents of recreational marijuana believe the increase in traffic fatalities in Washington state is because since legalization, more drivers are being tested for pot.